So Francis Sadeco here at NAB with uh, AMD. I'll let them introduce themselves, um, but looking forward to seeing what the latest stuff is from AMD at the show. Great, thanks Francis. Yeah, my name is Jimmy Holbert and I am the Director of Workstation and Creator Strategy here at AMD. And we're super excited to talk about these new products. But before I do that, let me introduce my friend, my colleague, Gary Davis. Hey, Gary Davis with the AMD's Radeon Technologies Group, uh, business development in all kinds of the verticals, uh, media and entertainment, also design, manufacturing, architecture, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, we're excited definitely to show some of the new, new toys. That's sorry, Gary. I was so excited. I started talking about the product before I introduced you. So my apologies. But, but like I said, yeah, two brand new uh, uh, graphics cards that actually just came out uh, within the last week or so. So less than one week. And right here we have the brand new W7800. This is a, a 32 gig frame buffer card. Um, and, you know, great display technology, uh, great uh, thermals and also power. Uh, so I'll talk about that in just a moment. And then this guy, the, the first card that we've had on the professional line with 48 gigs of uh, frame buffer. So this is the AMD Radeon Pro W7900. Super excited about this. Um, and then you'll see right here also, both cards have the new DisplayPort 2.1. So three full size and then one enhanced mini DP uh, 2.1 as well. So being able to accomplish four different displays on there uh, that I'll let Gary talk about in just a moment. But uh, what's also great about this is this uses AMD's new chiplet technology, first pro graphics card to do that. And on top of all that, very compelling price point. So the 7800 coming in at 2,499 US dollars and the 7900 at just below 4,000 US dollars suggested detail price. So this is really compelling for a lot of customers. In fact, I'm gonna let Gary talk a little bit more about how we compete with those cards and that pricing. Yeah, so when we talk about 32 gigabyte frame buffer and 48 gigabyte frame buffer, this is definitely not something for everybody. This is definitely for the extreme, heavy and extreme workloads across, uh, again, media and entertainment and all these different verticals. But we really like talking about the price and performance of these. As Jimmy mentioned, we have really aggressive uh, announced pricing here. But when we talk, uh, looking at the competition, on the left side of this chart, we're seeing all of the 48 gigabyte flavors, if you will, that are out there. And respect Uperf Geomine, if you're not familiar with it, at a very high level, it's a series of tests that run a lot of different applications and give you a result. And as you can see here, we're just trouncing the, uh, our competitors' A6000. Same memory, but we're just annihilating them in performance. I'll get to the DisplayPort 2.1 in a second. We're doing so with less power and certainly at a more affordable price. Moving across to the Ada product, which is their flagship at the moment. We had, we're going to admit that they're eking us out a little bit in performance, but I'll jump right down to the sh sticker shock here at more than double the cost. So we really feel that this is an aggressive product, again, for people that are doing video editing, color correction, and visual effects in this realm of, of uh, NAB, but also other uh, areas such as design visualization and architecture and so on. Again, moving across to the right side, no contest, 32 gigs versus 24. Again, the GeoMean, no contest. We're going to get to this display port, as I said, in a second here, less power and more affordable. So again, win-win across the board with these two new products. One of the things that Jimmy mentioned is this display port 2.1. Uh, display port isn't something that's an AMD technology, but AMD is the first to bring it to you in a professional product. And both of these have this display port 2.1. And what we're looking at here is a, a visual that essentially shows display port 1.4 all of our preceding generation products, as well as the current generation of the competition. So again, it's a very nice visual here. Three X the uh, throughput of these of the DisplayPort uh, 2.1. This illustrates just kind of this. It's the same cable, but obviously with three X the bandwidth. And what that does is gives you uh, a certain amount of information that can come down that pipe. That's going to define resolution, uh, refresh rate, and color bit depth. And this supports up to 68 billion colors or 12 bit color. When you think about all these different cameras that are out there doing uh, uh, advanced shooting like 12, 12K resolution and 12-bit color, a lot of people that are shooting and mastering for IMAX films and all this crazy stuff, it's future-proofing for a lot of different displays. And I'll segue to one more slide here, hopefully not death by PowerPoint, but one more slide when we talk about future-proofing. So again, this is the rest of the world on DisplayPort 1.4. And our, our Pro, uh, excuse me, Radeon Pro W7000 series, again, is the first professional graphics card in, anywhere in the world to bring this DisplayPort 2.1. And we have a lot of different partners out there. We actually have a, a Dell 6K display in the booth that's doing some phenomenal work around the corner. But we work with a lot of different partners. And again, some of these 
uh, manufacturers don't even have displays out yet that can do what this graphics card can do. So the idea of future-proofing your pipeline, whether it's doing color correction or visual effects or any, any of that good stuff. Uh, and again, this is, these two products are designed for really heavy lift. It's that heavy to extreme workload. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate you guys taking the time, but really exciting to see these products come through.